All right, my homesteaders, homemakers, and cooks, this is for you. We are going to talk about 14 household hacks that we can use with cornstarch. And I am not talking about cooking. Although we use our cornstarch for cooking like thickening agents, today we're going to talk about other ways we can use this magic cornstarch. So stay tuned. And because cornstarch is such a versatile ingredient known for its thickening agent and moisture wicking properties, I'm going to tell you how to use them. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you what not to do with the cornstarch. So we want to be really careful. All right, first up, deodorant. If you're out of deodorant, you can try a cornstarch. Deodorant. You can make your own cornstarch deodorant. You'll need four tablespoons of coconut oil. You'll need three tablespoons of cornstarch and three tablespoons of baking soda. All you have to do is microwave the coconut oil for 15 or 20 seconds until it liquefies and then slowly add the cornstarch and baking soda until it forms a thick paste. And you can drop your own favorite essential oils in there for a pleasant smell. So that's number one. Number two is that you can use cornstarch to prevent athlete's foot. You can't treat it or cure it, but you can help prevent it by simply sprinkling cornstarch in your shoes to reduce the moisture and then add it to your socks for additional moisture wicking action. I told you it absorbs, it absorbs cornstarch miracles. Guys, if you have a little chafing between your thigh areas, you can use cornstarch to help reduce friction between the surfaces. So you can spread a small amount of cornstarch to your irritated areas before you get dressed and that can help with chafing, a nice solution. Let me give you some bonuses here, two for one, bug bite relief and blister relief. All you have to do is just use a little cold water, with a little bit of cornstarch and make a paste and you can have this for your bug bite relief or your blister relief so it's good for your skin care and while we're talking about making a paste we can make a paste for your scorched pots and pans and also for your scorched iron yes you can use a little paste and get that iron. If you've ironed a little bit too long and you scorched a fabric, well, just try wetting the stain with cold water and sprinkling a little bit with cornstarch. And once it's dry, you can brush it off. So I guess that was another two for one. You can clean your pots and pans and iron, and you can also remove stains. So as I said, you can make a little bit of paste and you can remove any kind of stains, not only just your fabrics, but your rugs and your furniture. Oh, I know a subscriber that will really be happy to hear this because they've been asking and asking about those pots and pans, but definitely remove stains and also surprisingly oil stains. You can get out the oil before washing and drying. To get rid of the splatters on your clothes, sprinkle a little cornstarch over the oil as soon as you can. It lifts and absorbs the oil from the fibers. Yes, it does. You can use cornstarch for your child stuffed animals, believe it or not. Just rub a small amount of cornstarch onto the stuffed animal and let it sit for about five minutes and then gently remove it with a damp cloth. This cornstarch can be used as a starch for your ironing. All you have to do is use a little bit of warm water and get a spray bottle and put it one to two tablespoons of cornstarch in it. And then you can spray this on your clothes and let it set a minute before ironing it. It's a natural starch for your ironing. All right, after we're done ironing our clothes, we can go on and use this cornstarch to polish our silverware. Just mix a little cornstarch and water in a bowl and use a damp cloth and rub that mixture onto your silverware to reveal its natural shine. But be sure to rinse the silverware afterward. <laughs> 
we can use the cornstarch as a dry shampoo for our pets. All we have to do is just brush a small amount of cornstarch into our pet's fur. We can also use cornstarch to untie knots. It can reduce friction, believe it or not, with your ropes and your shoelaces and between certain fibers. So untie those knots with cornstarch. Remove your grease spatter from the walls. Yes, add a little bit of cornstarch to a small cloth and remove the grease until it comes off. And most of all, for us cooks, we want to use cornstarch to thicken our gravies, our marinades, our sauces, our soups, and our casseroles. I just couldn't leave that out. I had to give you those bonus tips. But let's talk about what we shouldn't use cornstarch on. Let's be careful to never use cornstarch on our face because they can clog our pores and lead to breakouts. And some of us have acne prone skin, so we don't wanna do that. So we shouldn't use it as a makeup or an oil remover for our face or apply it to any open wounds. All right, so we don't wanna use cornstarch to treat cuts and wounds because from what I hear, it is a feeding ground for bacteria and may infect the wound further. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not a subscriber, become a new subscriber. Share this video with your friends, leave me any comments, and like the video. I'll see you guys on an upcoming future video for more information. Yes, you know I've got your back. I have your back. Love you.